Hello, I'd like to show you a clock I made. It uses Adafruit's NeoPixels for the display. There's 60 of them in there, so one meter. Around a circle I cut out of edge glued mm, wood. It's a hardwood, oak, something. Anyway, it also uses a DigiSpark for the controller because I could just stack the shield on there and I needed all six inputs instead of the, unlike how the trinket only has the five. Now, this is the most interesting display mode, I think. What it does is it fades red backwards for the hours, blue backwards for the minutes, and green backwards for the seconds. And what I mean by that is it's currently four o'clock and then the intensity kind of fades back. Again, Oh, about 52. Now, the controls for setting the time and adjusting the modes, because our various display modes, are hidden behind the three. Just You just press that to adjust the modes, display modes, and behind the nine, which if you hold that, that will set the time. Now, I'll just toggle through the various display modes. Now what this is showing is just the intensity that the light sensor is currently seeing because there's a photo cell right there and I just covered it up. Now if we go back to the, actually displaying the time, you can set it again by pressing and holding the 9 position and it will begin to do this f kind of a fade then reset, brighten then reset, brighten then reset. And again, it'll time out and write the time if you've changed it. So if I want to change the time, you just press the pluses on the right and the minuses on the left, and then let it set back there. Now the intensity is kind of messing with the effect of the time adjustment because I keep moving around it, but it functions all the same. That's about it. I don't really have anything else to say about it, but I think the effects are cool, so I'll just let it run for a minute. Turn the light down. Maybe it's a little easier to see. Definitely looks much better in person. I guess I'll stop this now.